Okay, at this point you've completed the assignment in Mod 4 and now you're ready to screen capture it and um, show me that you've finished it. So you should have gone into Documents and created a folder called CIS 105. So I'm going to double click on that to open it. And I can see the three folders that you should have created. Now, what I want to do is I want to have you screen capture what you're seeing here so I can see the path that the CIS 105 is off of documents and it's showing me what's inside of CIS 105. Okay, so depending on whether you're on a Mac or on a PC, I'm going to go ahead and do a screen capture. If you need help with that, there are instructions inside Mod 4 on how to do a screen capture based on the computer you're using. So I'm going to go ahead and activate the screen capture. And it might take a minute for it to pop up. Okay, I am using a PC. So it comes up with the box. I can draw a box around what I want. So I'm going to draw a box around most of this window here. Okay, so the big thing is I want to be able to see that CIS 105 is off of documents and here are the folders inside of CIS 105. So right now when I did the screen capture, I put the screen capture into a clipboard. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I can open up Microsoft Word and um, you also can do this in Google Docs as well. So I'm just going to open up a Word file and I'm going to just open up a blank document. And I can do a control V or command V as in victory, depending on whether I'm using a PC or if I'm using a Mac. And there's my image that I want um, to submit for the assignment. So in here, I'm going to do a file and I'm going to do a save as. Okay, I'm going to be very specific as to what you're going to call this um, so I know what file it is that I'm looking at. I do want it to go to my um, document folder on my computer. Okay, um, let me just double check. Yeah, so I'm going to go to my documents, or this one is called documents on here, and I'm just going to throw it into my documents folder. And the name that I want to call it is going to be screenshot. Mod 4, and I'm going to put my last name in there. I want your last name and all your file names so that I know that you're the one that created it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save that. Okay, now if I was going to do this in a Google Doc, I basically do the exact same thing. So let me pull Google Docs over. And you can just hit um, the plus sign to do a blank Google Doc. And what I want to do is, um, once it stops loading, I'm going to click on the page and I'm going to paste in the image. You can do this either way. It doesn't matter if you're doing it in Google Docs or if you're doing it in Word. I just want to show you both ways to do it. So once I paste in the picture, then I'm going to go in and with Google Docs, you do have an extra step once you create the file. So once this finishes, taking a while to load. Okay, so it looks like it stopped. I'm going to do a control V and that should paste in the image for me. And there it is. And I want to name this one. This one has it at the top here and I'm going to do screenshot mod for and my last name and because I'm doing two separate ones I'm going to add a number on to the end of this just so that I know which one is the word file and which one is the um, the doc file so um, from Google Docs so I'm going to go ahead and I just hit enter and that will give it the name 
Now, when you're doing a Google Doc, you need to download it to your computer so you can upload it for the assignment. So this is that extra step I was talking about. So what you need to do is go into File, and you're going to do a um, Save As option in here. You're going to save it. So actually, we're actually downloading it. So I'm going to download it as a Word file. Okay, so I'm going to pick that. You can see it actually downloaded it right there to the downloads folder so it's going to have that name on it okay so right now i've gone in i've got a file with my screen capture on it so i can submit it to the assignment all right so now what you would do is you would go into brightspace and i'm gonna i'm gonna turn student view on so you can see this i can see the same thing you're seeing Okay, and once you're in um, the course, if you're not already in Mod 4, what you're going to do is from the course home, you're going to go into Mod 4. And once you go into Mod 4, you want to si find the screenshot assignment, so or the Mod 4 assignment. So I'm going to click on that. Okay, and you're going to go down to, you're going to, this one is a file option. You can't type anything in for this one. So I've got to click on the upload button. And then I need to find that file that I had downloaded either from Google Drive or the Word file that I created. And um, it should have gone into either documents or downloads. Okay, so I can see that the one from Word is there and then Probably the other one is in my downloads. There it is right there. So it doesn't matter you know, if you're doing a Google Doc or if you're doing a Word file. It doesn't matter which one you bring in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab the, um, I know this was the Word file, so I'm going to grab that and open. And then you're going to hit Submit at the bottom. Now you can put write out some comments to me here, but you don't need to. I have the file and that's what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and hit submit. Okay, and you will get an email in your T Wolves College email to let you know that the submission was made um, to Brightspace. Okay, um, so that way you know that you've submitted that file. Okay, and you can actually see it here as well. If you uploaded the wrong one, you can upload another file and do another submission if you need to. Okay, so at this point, that's how you go in and do the screenshot, save it to a file, and then upload it in the assignment.